Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many of you true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim here in Riften, which has now been, if not quite 100% freed from the threat of the Thieves' Guild, I'd say I've done a pretty damn good job getting rid of those stupid thieving bastards. They've been left leaderless and with no resources whatsoever, and as long as I don't actually bother to do anything to make them rich again, then quite frankly, everyone should now be safe from the tyranny of the Thieves' Guild. So, spot flipping on, I'd say, and with that, Riften suddenly seems like a lot more of a nice, lovely place. I've always wanted to have a home here. Well, technically me and Ben are both discussed it. We have discussed this at length. And uh, we don't actually even need a mortgage. I've got quite a lot of flipping gold, so that's good. We don't need to go and like visit the bank or anything. So as a result, I would say time for me to go and have a little quick word with the flipping Jarl over here. Here we go. I would like to purchase a house in the city. 8,000 gold is flipping chicken feed to me. Splendid. There's a house available right now. And I will totally take it. And I don't think I've ever bought this house before. So I've no idea what it's going to be like. Also, I like the fact that Vigilance is over there just making a new friend. That's adorable. Marvelous. But I need it decorated, please. So I'm willing to splash a bit of cash on that. Oh, yeah. This is extremely flipping cheap. Right? Oh, my own enchanting laboratory. Oh, no more having to track up to flipping Dragon Reach every time I want to enchant something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This'll do. You know what? I'm going to buy everything, apart from a child's bedroom, because I don't actually want that. Uh, so, alchemy laboratory. Probably won't need that, but never mind. Enchanting laboratory. Very flipping good. And, oh, garden. It's got a garden, Ben. Oh, nice. And a porch, too. Oh, lovely. And I need to... Oh, no, 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 sorry. If I want to adopt a child, I need to replace my enchanting lab. No, I'm not giving up my enchanting. I want to enchant way more than I want children. That's way better. And here we are. This is it down here, apparently. It's called, hang on, I've seen this before, like Honeyside? Yes, Honeyside. So here we are. Nice big thing. Admittedly, I'm a bit, ooh. Is this my garden? Oh, this is my garden. Oh, this is really cool. Does this get open, by the way? Do I have the... No, apparently I don't have the key to open this gate. Well, that's fine. It keeps, like, you know, everyone else out of my garden. So I've just got a garden down here. And flipping guard patrols down here as well. So as a result... Oh, yeah. This is nice. Got a nice little garden here. Growing some leeks. Very important. All sorts of other stuff. Very cool. Ah, it attracts flipping butterflies as well. Yeah. This would be my little garden. Oh, and a cart covered in produce as well. Excuse me. Step away from my bloody garden, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where the bloody hell do you think you're going? Why exactly? Oh, you're just delivering me chopped wood. Okay, carry on. That's fine. Right, Benno. Let's check out our new house. This is pretty cool. Okay. It's a little bit on the cozy side, I'll admit. But yeah, we've got ourselves Vigilance here as well. So Vigilance, there's a good spot by the fire for you. Cooking pot, very, very nice indeed. We have got ourselves not the biggest dining room table, I'll admit, but big enough for me and you, Benno, together with, you know, one extra member if one of us wants to kind of bring around company. Maybe we could spring for a bigger table at some point. Then we've got... Ah! This is intriguing. So, master bedroom. Oh, is that a balcony? Is that a flipping balcony? I like there being a balcony. Oh, that's just beautiful. Just imagine that on a sunny day. And when I say imagine it... Oh, there's a little outdoor sitting area. We've got a patio and a deck. We've got a deck. A little rug here. Oh, Vigilance, you are going to love living here. It's got its own little leather working thing as well. That's nice. Its own tanning rack. Hang on. Let's just kind of get some better weather going on here. Vigilance, get out of the way. There we are. Following day. Beautiful, clear. Oh, this is... This is actually lovely. Like, if I ever got to live in a house like this with a view like this. Oh, this is... That is genuinely a lovely place to live. You've got flipping mountains on your left, and water ahead of you, sound water over there, there's just a random wolf, whatever, maybe we should, oh no, hang on, that's just a deer, that's okay, and then we've got, ah, okay, you can actually access, oh my goodness, it's got a dock, Ben, or it's got a dock, and it comes with its own boat, its own flipping boat, which apparently the last occupants kind of caught some salmon, <laughs> Ben, or we could go fishing, Admittedly, I'm not that keen on this from a security point of view, because now any old person who hasn't gone through Rift and Gates can just basically run up here and actually literally be at our house. So uh, let's just make sure we do lock the door, but I like this. Actually, maybe this wouldn't have been here if I hadn't actually bought the, the porch. Possibly I shouldn't have bought this, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure this is a safe neighbourhood. It looks like a we're in the same city as the Thieves' Guild, aren't we? 
Well, thank goodness I flipping destroyed them then. Okay, luckily I did just see that that door is permanently locked. Although, Vigilance, Vigilance, you okay? Okay, you're a good boy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Right, so we've also got ourselves just an end table here and a whole bunch of chests and stuff. Lovely. There we are. Scourge of the Grey Quarter. I'm not going to read that. That's probably just racism in book form. And I think the dog just fell through the ceiling. Did you just fall through the, the ceiling? Are you... No, no, he's just... Oh, no, I think he's sorted it out. It's fine. Everything's under control. Right, so actually, what's going on is... Oh, I've got my own enchanting lab. Oh, my goodness, I've got my own dummies as well. <gasps> I've actually got my own little mannequins. I can actually put all cool stuff on them, so I can actually, like, dress them up properly. So, like, the nightingale armor, I could put all on this guy, and that'd be really cool. And then, like, oh, all of the, um, the mage's gear, all of, like, you know, the, the head mage college thing. Oh, I'm so excited I can't form sentences right now. Oh, my own enchanting room. Ben, are you... And it's actually like a proper dingy dungeon with candles. It's so... Oh, Ben, or it's perfect. It's just perfect. And then down here we have got the... Right. So if we do ever need like, you know, like a torture room or whatever, then we've got this here. So I suppose that's nice. And we can also just use it as a... I was about to say that Vigilance could sleep down there, but no. No, I think Vigilance actually sleeps at the, uh, at the foot of the bed. Though actually, we've only got... Okay. Ben or there's only one bedroom, actually. There's um there's actually uh only one bedroom. I didn't actually know that when I uh, when I bought the place, Ben or, but there is actually uh only one bedroom. But that's fine. We can um we can just kind of, you know, take turns sleeping in the dingy hay room or or maybe we could come up with some other form for it. I I don't know. We, we we can discuss it. We can discuss what we're going to do about that Ben or. Also, just to quickly change the topic, can't I but notice invisibility potion recipe here. I don't actually know what that is. So, ooh. Seriously, that's invisibility. Luna moth and the eggs from the little farmer buggy things. That's actually pretty flipping useful to know. Cuz I didn't actually know that. So actually, that's a way of really mass-producing flipping invisibility potions. Though admittedly, now I can just kind of go invisible whenever I want to, so it's not so flipping urgent. But still, that's... Okay, interesting place to choose to lie down there, but whatever. Right! Yeah, we've got ourselves a nice place to live here, Benor. I like it. I mean, I can see the advantage of converting the enchanting lab into a second bedroom, potentially, if, you know, if we decide it's awkward with just the one bed. But it's a big bed! It's a big bed. We can just, like, you know, stay in our own halves and not not do other things. If that's... Unless you want... But we don't... We wouldn't have... Let, let's just leave. Let's just leave the house. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I've just realised the funniest thing. Despite all this time I've spent in Riften, there's actually one building I've just completely failed to actually go inside at any point. Because there's this great big temple over here. Temple of some god or other. I can't actually remember. I've no idea who this is for. This is for the uh, Temple of Mara. No idea. Let's actually go and explore that while we're passing by. So we've just got a nice little temple here. Actually looks very similar to the big temple that existed over in... Ooh. Argon ah, we've already read the other half of that note. The Argonian ceremony, of course. The Argonian guy wants to get married to his girlfriend. We know about that already. In fact, actually, we actually gave him the jewels that he needed to make the engagement ring. So that's very, very cool indeed. Was that actually a... That was an important book, right? Uh, no, a kiss, sweet mother, nothing major... There, just have a quick look-see around here, and we have got ourselves, yeah, Mara herself, her shrine here. We've got ourselves a little shrine of Mara. Uh, what does that do? Blessings of Mara, together with gods and worship. This is a nice little temple, actually. Uh, hang on, where's the active effect of that? Healing spells restore 10% more. That's actually pretty good for me. That's actually not that bad at all, in fact. Lovely, and I'm guessing this is just where you guys all live. Oh, you've got a basement down here. Nice, nice little basement. I'm really hoping we're not about to find, like, you know, the... Ah, Hall of the Dead. Right, okay. Well, let's not go down there, because that's not related to Tamara. That's related to, um... Wait, what was it? Akatosh? Akatosh, I think. I forget. Right, let's just quickly have a little explore. Yeah, just a nice little area that you all live in, actually. You've got quite a lot of space dedicated to you. This is very cool. Right, hello there. What is it you seek, my child? Which of the... Ooh! Okay. 
I talk about the eight divines rather than nine. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Fine, whatever. Yeah, which of the supposedly eight divines do you serve? I'm going to guess it's Mara. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. So, were you saying something about love? I was distracted there for a second. How do I receive her blessing, by the way? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Oh, abso flipping lutely yes. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastrad. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay, and the book of love begins. All right, Benor, me and you, let's go matchmake. And you didn't actually need to tell me it was Iverstead. I figured it out when you said the foot of the throat, but whatever. Oh, lovely evening here in Iverstead. Oh, that's just a beautiful, beautiful dusk. Right. Guys, need to go and find this woman, who I don't remember, but she's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why is everyone... Oh, it's because the bear's still around. Hang on. I'll sort out your marital problems or whatever in a second. First, the bear is still around, and I do need to help out with that. Don't kill that guy. Just take out the bear nice and quickly. We good? I think we're good. Yeah? Okay. Job done. Oh, that's a really red sky. It's a ridiculously red sky. I love it. It's very pretty. Right. Job done? Yep, job done. Beautiful. Now, where's Fastred? She's outside over here somewhere. Now, what's your deal? We need to have a chat with you. Are you the one sent by Mara? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Good call. Actually, how did you know I was coming? I prayed to Mara and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? Yes, yes, it absolutely is. My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. My father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. Okay, so, you sound a little confused by all this. Obviously, they sound unreasonable. Like, Riften's literally just down the road from here. They're very close together. You could visit each other very easily all the time. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Okay, right. We need to have a chat with her parents. Before we do that, though, we might need to, like, convince some folks. So let's just slap on the bonus to speech amulet. There we are. Bella, marvellous. Feels wrong to be wearing that when I'm supposed to be dealing with a Mara bit of business, but okay, what have you. So her parents are apparently in two separate locations. Fine, let's start with the one at the bar here. Uh, possibly her dad having a drink, and then we'll go home to the other one. Here we go. Joftor. Let's have a chat with Joftor. Ah! And that's the... No, you're not that guy. You're just a vaguely similarly... Ne Everyone stop running into me for a second. Hello, Joftor. The daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. And indeed, your daughter wanted me to speak to you about that. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Okay, that strikes me as fairly reasonable logic, to be honest, if, like, you know, a very short period of time ago she was totally head over heels with someone else. But why do you want us to stay that much, if any particular reason? Look around here. There's not much left. It used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstein? 
Well, it probably dies out, but all the young people have better lives in Riften, so honestly, you're just holding her back, which isn't very fair. You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. We need some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. Okay. Interesting. So potentially we might need to talk him into being a little bit more forward about it, and then that might actually be able to impress her old man. Right, down the road, let's catch up with her mother and get her view on all of this. Hello there, boating. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Well, either I've got potatoes to sell, which I might do. Actually, you know what? Sure, let's sell my potatoes. Honest pay for honest work. Oh yeah, four potatoes removed, four gold added. Now, my daughter also wants to chat to me now we've got the potatoes out of the way. Oh my, probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Okay, that sounds like a decent solution then. Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. You know what? That strikes me as nice and simple. Also, talk to Klimek. Actually, you know what? We should talk to Klimek. Sure. Because Klimek is apparently someone that she was madly in love with just yesterday or something. So bare minimum, we probably should go and have a quick chat with Klimek just to be sure in case he's going to say something of interest. Klimek, my good man, do you have anything to contribute here? Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. Yes, indeed. You owe me. Now, tell me the truth. What happened with Fastred? Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. And she probably appreciates assertive men. We've no reason to say that whatsoever, but okay. That's probably better than saying there's nothing you can do. What did you call me? We didn't actually call you anything, but what? never mind, I think she wants a more cultured man. Aww. It means you should be bold. I'm not sure I want this to happen. I don't want this to happen at all. I mean, it feels like there's no particularly interesting thing going on here. I mean, I guess I could get her and Klimek together, but, like, if she's not into him currently, I'm not going to try and make it happen. If that's what she wants, then that's what she'll get. So let's just leave that alone for the time being and instead go speak to... Vigilant, please don't get in the way, boy. You're a good boy, but don't get in my way. So I could potentially get her and Klimek together, but no, let's have a chat to this guy, see if we like him. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Okay, I don't like your voice immediately, gonna be honest. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Boti send you to me? And she said you should elope. Honestly, I've not really got any information to make me favour one guy over the other, aside from the fact this guy seems uh, a little bit more maybe age-appropriate. Klimek seems quite a bit older, and we understand that Fastred is very young indeed, so I guess possibly this guy? But yeah, why don't you consider eloping? I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor, what about him? He'll come after us and... It will be unpleasant. Okay, can I persuade you? No, don't even need to persuade you, in fact. She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Fastred. Post haste. All right, and are you straight off? Because if so, I'll just follow you there. Just see if we can just spy on your little romantic rendezvous. Benor, get out of the way of love. Benor, Benny of... Benor, I think you've broken love. Oh no, fine. Love is fine. It's good. Benno, you haven't broken it. Oh, here he goes to the chicken. No, no, he's going to find her. Yep, there we are. We must speak. Bassianus, sweetie, what is it? We must leave. Your father will never approve of us, and I grow weary of this place. Where will we go? To rift in my pet. How you'll adore the city. Oh, and to be with you. I'll make the preparations immediately. 
Okay, nice. Job done. Admittedly, I don't know, like, you know, what your job is or whether you can actually, like, you know, actually support her or build a home or anything. But you know what? It'll be fine. Like, Mara doesn't seem too worried about the practicalities or the details or whether they can afford a mortgage together. Mara's just about people in love, like, doing it somewhere. So they probably will. In Riften, in fact. So, apparently no need to hang out and deal with any of the fallout of any of this situation. Just head straight back over to the Temple of Mara. Right, and bloody conveniently, the woman in question is actually worshipping at the Shrine of Mara right now. So, I've managed to get two young people together and in fact they're coming this way. So, you can probably like, you know, meet them yourself. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Okay, lovely. And anything else Mara wants? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone. Okay, so you want me to go to Markarth, but you're about to tell me that, aren't you? Go to Markarth. Yeah, I thought so. There you'll find Kalsomo. Wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I did kind of actually break into his laboratory, kill all his guards, steal all his stuff, and I think I also murdered his nephew, sort of by accident. So, uh, this might be a bit of an ask, but screw it, we'll go with it. Oh, bloody flipping hell! I just, um, fast travelled to the keep. Uh, I think every guard in the city spawned simultaneously on the exact same spot. So, actually, wait, hang on, no, I, I'm not sure I can resist this. I've just dropped a save! Ah! <laughs> They're all gonna murder me at this point, but you know what, it was worth it. Oh, yeah, you get it just right when they first arrive. Oh. Hang on, no, 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 shut up, stop, stop talking to me, stop talking to me, I've got business to take care of, like all the guards in the world. Hello there, lads! Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's quite good, I like them all being together, that's fun. Now remember, I'm not actually here to murder all of the guards, I'm here for love or something. Kalsamo, my old friend, I heard about what happened in your laboratory. Terrible, terrible accident that that should happen by pure coincidence approximately 10 minutes after you actually gave me access to the area. Terrible, terrible business. And I have been sent by Mara to aid you, my good man. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Honestly, not sure. I don't think so. Why don't you explain? Well, suffice to say she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you an amulet of Debella to get your speech up and a glass of water for the dry mouth. And with those two things, we should be absolutely 100% fine. Right, and you just need to have something to talk about. You're probably overthinking this. No, 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 no. Let's see if we can help him out. That's the trouble. I know Feline from the Keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. Okay, so I could speak to her myself, or indeed, is there anyone else who might be able to tell me that? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. I could just ask her, but alright, fine, whatever, let's start with Ingvar. And conveniently, he's right flipping here. Hello there, Ingvar. Bloody enough for you, outsider. And indeed, bloody enough, Ingvar the singer. Sure, I can see why you're popular with the ladies, with, you know, all of those actual bleeding gashes on your face and all. Then turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you, doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. 
I don't know, to be honest, it looks distinctly like water to me. Anyway, let's just focus on Feline here. What? Why? Are you interested? No, but it's not for me. Actually, you know what? Let's just stay subtle for the time being. I'd rather not say. Ah, a secret admirer, eh? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. As for what she might like... I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? I could do that or... Ah, oh, tragically, I can't persuade him. Never mind, I'll just pay the money. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just let Feline read it herself. Don't want you stumbling over the words and ruining my flow. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm not necessarily always doing the right things here. Like, we're not really helping true love run smooth, we're just basically helping a guy kinda cheat and read out a poem that's not his, as if it was, which is kind of wrong and feels a bit skeevy at best and downright potentially evil at worst, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, we'll run with it, apparently Mara's cool with this whole situation. Like, if I had the option to use a whole bunch of persuade checks that got progressively harder to just persuade him to, you know, just be brave and try on his own, I'd totally 100% do that. And now I have to deliver the poem, but make sure we tell her that it's actually from, you know, Calsimo, not from me. And apparently you're Feline. Hello. Ah, yes, I have walked past you before. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. And I want to talk to you about Calsimo quickly. Calsimo? What about him? And anything? Yeah, what do you think of him? Let's not actually kind of start off with his feelings for you. Think of him? <laughs> He's an odd little man, always poking around the rooms and wasting time in his museum. Seems friendly enough, obviously intelligent. Why do you ask? Ooh, not so good, but you know what? We'll just go with the poem situation here. Well, aren't you a strange one? Well, would you believe I've actually got a poem for you? Pardon me? Look, it's a poem from Calsimo. And look, just hand over the poem, read it, you'll get the gist of it, possibly. Oh, wait, hang on. I should have read the poem myself first. Right, just, just a second. I just want to quickly read the poem. One peak stands proud amidst the range, invincible and scaled by none. Those men who try wash down her slopes, their eye-born streams obliquely run. Not sure what this poem means, but I suspect it's filthy. This is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. And he cares about you deeply. So deeply, he asked me to go and find some other bloke, and that bloke I gave some money to, and then he adjusted a poem he'd used to seduce a different lady in a different town to make it about you. That's how much he cares. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Okay, and we have got a new letter, which we're just going to step around the corner and then immediately read. I'll admit to being a bit surprised at the direction of your feelings, but not unpleasantly so. Let us meet to discuss further. Yeah, this is kind of wrong because she's only into him because he's like artistic and poetry -y, and he isn't artistic and poetry -y at all this feels just really really flipping wrong but all right fine whatever good news cow samo i've basically tricked a young lady into liking you this is more than i could have hoped for have you really done this for me i have to see her please excuse me all right nice and another person goes running off and they'll probably meet up and we can kind of see them making plans to get married or whatever. Pauline, I... Forsworn have troubled the reef for too long. It's I intend right. to deal with them. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Rayrek. I think they were possibly supposed to kiss, but they didn't actually, so... Alright, 
Job done, I guess. I'm not convinced I like Mara that much. Basically, as far as I can tell, people pray to Mara, basically say, Hey, I fancy someone, but we've got nothing in common and she doesn't like me. At which point, Mara sends an agent to trick that person into liking them. And that feels weird and wrong, but alright, fine. Right, job done, and even more dubious than the first one. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth, and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms, and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Okay, one amulet of Mara. Intriguing. And now I need to talk to a long dead lover. Okay, where's that then? And as it turns out, quite a bloody long way in this direction. Fine, a uh, long dead lover. Swindler's Den. Ah, okay, I vaguely know this bit of the world. Fine, let's start with Rorikstead. Follow the road off and then just kind of head over in this direction. Doesn't seem too bad. Here we go. In fact, the road actually conveniently goes in almost exactly the right direction. Spot on. Except for random guy and also... Uh, extremely nice colourful cow on the road. Okay. Hello, can I have your extremely lovely colourful cow, please? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Ah, I see. By any chance, do you actually uh, need any help? Because I'm wanting to help out with this. This sounds cool. I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. It's rather nice to actually see in an RPG, you go up to someone and say, Hey, would you like me to help you? are like, nah, it's fine. I got this. This is actually my job, so I'm just going to do it. Have a nice day. That's lovely to see. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. You know what? I like you. You're now my favourite character in Skyrim. Because one, you don't need me to solve all your problems for you. And two, you've got a really jazzy cow. Right, continue straight on down the path. We must be getting close at this point. But actually, whatever this place is, I'm kind of surprised I haven't actually encountered it before. Ah, there you are. I think I see a ghost down there. Right, there's just a little... What is that, like a shrine to Stendar or something? Something like that? That's normally what that shield means, I think. Is this a... No, a monument. Okay, just a random monument. Hello over there. What's your deal exactly? I'm searching for my friend. He was marching with you, cause men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over everybody, though, and I can't find him. Please help me, though. He has a bright red beard and hair. Right, so I need to find a guy, but yeah, if this was hundreds of years ago... He won't have that beard or hair anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, last battle centuries ago. Are you a fool? Look at the bodies around you. Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Come, help me search for Fenrig. Okay, got to find Fenrig. Now, where is he, according to my convenient... Ooh. Okay, he's quite a long way away. Never mind. Uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Swindler's Den, then just around by the water. By the looks of thing, if I had to guess. Uh, Sun at Moon's Camp will just be... No, this has got to be easier. Let's go to Swindler's Den and then just loop north from there. Also, there's an angry person over there. Are you 100% sure you want to draw a sword at me? Because I can literally summon monstrosities from hell... There we go, just stagger him. Someone finish him off, please. Thank you, he was actually tougher than I was expecting. One on one, I still struggle against Highwayman, thanks to the fact I'm still wearing robes. I'll have his gold, though. Still, never hurts to be able to just kind of, you know, do a quick bit of closing wounds, just gets my restoration up, always useful. Now, here we are, there's the body of water. So just basically head around here. Everything under control? Yes, everything looks under control around here. In all fairness, everything around here is going to be pretty low level. So I'm actually just going to get my calm up, if need be. If there's any wildlife, I'll just calm it. And yeah, that'll be good for getting illusion moving in the right direction. So I'm very close by to something I do actually want in the illusion tree. And I've got a perk ready to go right now for it. So just quickly swim across here. 
Anything major? Yeah, because I've got animate as well. Ooh, dragon burial site. Very cool. Now, why exactly? Ah, there's the... Ah, flipping hat! You took me by surprise. Whew. Right, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Also, oh, apparently I can just go invisible still. Am I still in the same day? No, I can't be. Am I just... Oh, wow, wait, hang on. Hang the flip on. I can just go invisible whenever I want. Like, it's not the same day. Surely that's not the power. That would be ridiculous. Hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You just keep walking that direction. Keep walking over there, please. There we go. That'll flipping do it. And we've got... Now I've... Okay, now the stealth's broken. But why was the... All right, fine. I've no bloody clue. Right. Now, I saw the ghosts down here somewhere. Stay away from the mammoths. No trouble with them. You, my good man, what are you doing way over here when all the bodies were supposed to be way over there? Hang on, just quickly also catch some butterflies. Hello! And your wife is looking for you, my good man. What are you doing over here? Rookie, where is she? Like, not really that far away, to be honest. There's a... Okay, good, that's just a mammoth head in this direction. I was worried a dragon just landed. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it. Ah, I see. You were ambushed while you slapped. Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. City ducks. Right. How about I just take you to Ruki? If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Okay, so now we just need to basically lead this guy back over there. All right, then. Actually, can I just fast travel there? Is that okay? Yeah, here we go. Fenrir, you're alive. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Dukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. Rookie, what's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. Oh, well that was nice and sweet and simple. And off they go to... I don't really know, not heaven. Like, possibly Sovngarde? Maybe they're heading off to Sovngarde, I'm not sure. Well, this is fun. I was just passing back through Riften, and Basinius is actually here. Are you willing to tell me about how your life's going now? What do you want? No, nope, tragedy not, but yeah, actually, the couple I actually persuaded to move here have actually moved here. That's cool. Right, good news, I've reunited two ghosts. This one seems less ethically problematic. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. And you know what? I think I do have a deeper understanding of love. Does the temple need any additional help, by the way? Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. Oh, go on then, sure. I'll go around handing out pamphlets from a local church. Oh, I've become that person. Oh, dear. No, it's for Mara. It's for Mara. It's for a good cause. 20 flipping pamphlets? Okay, it's for Mara, I guess. Religious pamphlets? Get your religious pamphlets. Fastrad, you want a pamphlet? You probably don't need a pamphlet. I think you've already understood the meaning of love, or at least Mara's understanding of the meaning of love. And I think I found the 20th person right here. Here you go, one of the mad psychopathic black briars. Blessings of Mara. Whatever you're peddling, I'm not buying. Good response. 20 out of 20. Nice. Also, totally missed this. I think for doing that last quest, I picked up Agent of Mara, which is actually really bloody good, actually. Because I've already got a 25% resistance to magic from my Breton blood, so actually those two things stack together really bloody conveniently. Yeah, I've got some good magic resistance going on there. I mean, toss in 50% magic absorption off the Atronach stone too. Yeah, that's looking really good. I have given away all of those pamphlets. Honestly, I got rude responses to about three quarters of them, but maybe like five people sounded interested. Oh, splendid. Just splendid. Mara smiles upon us this day. Allow me to give you her gift. A true blessing to aid you in times of need. 
Despair not. Her warmth will protect you always. And I've picked up a... Oh. A potion of ultimate healing. Thanks. It's a nice place we've got here. Isn't it, Ben? Or our own home. I know technically I, you know, paid for all of it and it's in my name. I consider it ours, Ben. Or I've been thinking about Mara and everything we've learned at Mara's Temple. In fact, actually, um... I picked out this new amulet. I don't know if you'd notice, but uh, an amulet of Mara. Benno, I don't know if you happen to know what that means, but I can't help but notice, Benno, that every time I speak to you, you do sometimes say, I'm still here. I can't help but wonder, Benno, why are you always still here? What's your, uh, what's your interest in me, precisely? Won't lie, I am. And you? Oh, Benor. Benor, I can't lie either. I've been interested in you for so long, Benor. I love you. Then it's settled. You and me. Oh, Benor, this view right here, the day we've had getting everyone together and then this. Oh, come here, you big lump. Oh, Benor. Right, following morning, don't ask why, we need to keep things YouTube advertiser friendly at the minute. Right, back over the Temple of Mara, apparently, we've got a wedding to plan. And I know this may seem quick to you, Maramal, but honestly, Benner and I have been a thing, just maybe an unspoken thing for quite a while, I think if both of us are honest. So, uh, I'd like to arrange a wedding, please. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow. From dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. Oh, mag flipping nificent. Right. Attend my own wedding ceremony. Okay. We're going to need to prepare for this. So, naturally, I want us to have something special. So, I've nipped over to the little gold mine that's a bit north of Riften, the old abandoned cave, where there's some nice gold veins hidden behind the waterfall. So, I'm just going to do a quick bit of mining here because. Uh, for our wedding day, only the best will do. Also, this is something fun someone told me about. If I've got a pickaxe out, and then I cast Elemental Fury, because of course this thing isn't enchanted. Okay, mining at speed! And did I just pick up a diamond as well? Well, that's just bloody convenient. Right, going to need some gold ingots for this. And now, for my beloved, I think... Oh, perfect. For my beloved, the most valuable ring of all. A gold diamond ring. And for me, I think I prefer a little bit of a splash of colour. So the ring that Benor can present to me can be the gold emerald ring. I think I like it having a bit of colour anyway. Actually, you know what? I think I've actually changed my mind. I think I just like the idea of a nice plain gold ring, no stones adorning it, because our relationship's not about flashiness. Both of us are fairly practical people in slightly roundabout ways. Yeah, a pair of matching plain gold rings. I like that. Beautiful. And would you believe I'd say it's a sign I've just leveled up from creating our wedding rings. Bit of extra magic from that. Beautiful. By any chance has... Oh, Conjuration's getting somewhere in a hurry. Uh, 58 though, so probably nothing major new there. Oh, an illusion at 69, so bloody close to 70, when we can actually get ourselves rage. Then the frenzy spells start working better, beautiful. But we're not done yet. Right, over to the enchanter. In honour of Mara who brought us together, I'll be putting a restoration charm on both of these rings so that each of us, in times of difficulty, can heal the other. What do you need to take? Oh, quite the opposite, Benor. I've got something to give to you. Also, apparently you've just got Dawnbreaker. <laughs> Alright, fine. You're just holding some stuff, lovely. We might have to clear that out at some point. You're carrying a bunch of stuff you don't really need. But no, Benor. Benor, Benor, Benor. I've got something very, very important to give to you. I give you this ring as a token of my love. Alright, today's the day. And I have only one quest set. And that quest is to attend my wedding ceremony. Well, actually, let's be clear. That's just my sub-quest. My main quest is to make Benor happy for the rest of our lives. Oh my goodness, the entire town has actually showed up. The entire town has come to watch Benor and I get married. Once to the entire town, like, three people. Ah, here's the blushing bride now. 
Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all I'm struggling to get to my own wedding. Pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learned that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do, now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do, now and forever. Not stop the wedding, no! No, I do, now and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. I'm married. It doesn't feel like I thought it would, but I'm happy. Where should we live? You could stay with me. Okay, did you miss the fact that we literally just bought a big house together in this city? I have a house in Rift of Benor. He's so happy, he's clearly forgotten about a lot of stuff. You know what? I have a house in Riften. It's fine, Benor. I'll be waiting for you at home, then. Oh, I think Benor has decided to temporarily leave being companion to go and kind of, you know, do up the place for me. That's nice of him. Who would have thought I would be getting married? I don't know, Benor, but isn't it just wonderful? Well, while Benor goes and gets himself settled in at home and possibly puts on some sexy lingerie, if we're very, very lucky indeed, Vigilance, me and you, we've got some other business to take care of. I think we should do this properly. Oh, there's our man over there, magnificent. Vigilance, me and you have some other stuff to take care of. We need to make this official, all right? I want a proper proclamation. I am going to go and let the Jarl know about our wedding. I think that would be perfect. My Jarl, I'm thrilled to announce I've just got married and we've purchased our marital home in this city. Then allow me to officially welcome you to Riften. You'll make a fine addition to our city. All that remains now is to bestow the title upon you. Ah, magnificent. That means I actually get to become Thane as well. Better and flipping better. I should be the one thanking you. You've solved more problems in the short time you've been here than anyone in my court has their entire careers. <laughs> You've been a beacon of hope in these dark times for my people, and I will never forget it. Therefore, by my authority as Jarl, I pronounce you Thane of Riften, and award you all the benefits befitting your station. Congratulations. And the blade of dot 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 was briefly added there. I think Skyrim had a bit of a hiccup there. Oh, flipping magnificent. Oh my y'all, thank you so much. That means so much to me today. Today is just the best day ever. Well, that was just flipping lovely. Now, one more thing I want to do. While Benor is just taking care of things at home, I think it would be nice for us to have a little, little bouquet of flowers for our first day. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head out of the town and uh, I'm going to actually create a bouquet out of... Ah, oh, perfect. There's flowers flipping everywhere. It's going to have some nice flowers from round about here. I'm going to use those to make a little lovely bouquet right around here. Ooh, and some traveling merchants. Okay, could get a nice present for Ben or from you as well. Hello there. Do you think he'd like this battle axe? I mean, it's nice and badass, but I bet it's not quite his style. No, no, I'm not convinced. Ah, perfect. Some nice purple mountain flowers as well. Good. Mix them together. Red and purple. Yeah, red and purple. That'll be a nice little combination. Those will look lovely. Lovely on the table. Ah, oh, this is just the perfect end. It's the perfect day. And now with Vigilance as our trusty dog as well. Uh, time to just settle in to married life. Blissful, peaceful, married life. Oh, actually, that's true. Straight here, in my own flipping garden. I could add some dragon tongue in. And a chicken. Okay, maybe not the chicken. But some of the rest of this stuff. Oh, lavender. Lavender will smell lovely. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Right here. Benor, I'm home. All right, fine. He must be uh, downstairs, I guess. Ah, there he is, down in the torture and prisoner room. Except he's... Oh, he's done it up. 
He's done it up as a nice little spare you. bedroom. Except he's also moved all of my stuff down here. Benno, if all my stuff's down here, then... Right. I see. Iona. Iona. And how long has this... Actually, no, 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 it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Benno, grab your stuff. Me and you, we need to go for a walk. You see, I figured, Benno, this might be a nice, quiet place for a private chat. Because this is a private discussion between a husband and a wife about that husband's mistress, who I discovered in our home, standing in our bedroom, on our wedding day, Benno. So I suppose the question is very, very flipping simply, who the cock is Iona? You know what? No, don't answer. You just stand right there for a second. That's right, you just hang out right there on that ledge for just a second, Ben Or, because even though apparently you've been making a fool of me in front of all our friends and everyone else who lives in this damn town for God only knows how long, you are going to sit there, you stupid, blockheaded bastard. Do you remember when we first met, okay? You were just some random drunk in Morthal who wandered around town picking fights for money with anyone who walked past, alright? You're lucky the gods didn't flipping run you out of town, you stupid, stupid bastard. And do you have any idea how many adventurers, seasoned, experienced adventurers, actually wanted to travel with me? So flipping many. I get offers every flipping day. But no, I decided to travel round with you. And this, this is how you repay me. After I gave you that armour, everything you're wearing right now, every weapon you possess, I gave it to you. And this, this is what I get in return. Well, this is it, Benor. This is it. Yeah, that's right, you better flipping get up, because we're going to settle this between you and me now, once and for all. Because I don't need you anymore, and I am going to prove it right here on this bridge. Draw your weapon, you stupid bastard, because this is going to be our final battle. Now so before we do this, Benor, before we do this, I think we can agree Vigilance shouldn't have to see this. Vigilance... Come here, boy. You just stay right here. Whatever happens, all right, you're a good boy, and none of this was your fault. And I mean it, Benor. Just you and me now. The final showdown. No Moira, no Stormageddon, no flamey booby lady, none of it. Just me and you. I kind of but notice you're not willing to throw the first punch. You're willing to throw the first punch against my emotions, against my heart, weren't you? But I'm going to be honest, Benor. Even though I am perfectly willing for this to be one-on-one, -on -one, I wasn't entirely planning on playing fair. Because you didn't play fair, did you? You didn't play fair with our marriage. You didn't play fair with my heart, did you? You stupid bastard. So I don't see why you should have the opportunity to protect yourself when you never gave me the chance to protect myself against you and your cheating ways. Benor, if you know what's good for you, you will stay down. No? All right, fine. You have brought this on yourself. Are you sure you want to carry on, Ben? Or are you 100% sure? Because at this point, this is it. If you don't back down right now... Oh no, you're going to run, are you? You're planning to run? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Running was not a flipping option, Ben. Or No. I think this... This is goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Bruce, go down! 